Okay, guys, in this project we have simple camera animation. Few keys and let's add a uh, little bit camera shake uh, to this linear camera movement. First, we need to create simple blueprint class. We need to create folder for our new effects. For example, the effects. Press right mouse button and choose blueprint class. Let's find shake classes and let's choose camera shake base. Press select. We will get a simple blueprint uh, interface. And if you close this window and reopen it, uh, we will get another interface. I think uh, this is a little, little bug inside Unreal. But in uh, root shake uh, pattern, we need to choose, for example, parallel noise camera shake pattern. We'll get few parameters. Uh, first of them, timing. Uh, we need to uh, set zero. If you want uh, your camera shake uh, working uh, entire shot for all frames, uh, we need um, uh, set duration to zero. Next, we have few important par parameters, uh, rotation, location, and uh, field of view. Press compile and let's add shake bl uh, blueprint class to our camera movement. Uh, we need uh, to open sequencer. Uh, let's go to this uh, tab and choose uh, our active sequencer. In camera component, we need to press uh, track and find new uh, camera shake blueprint class, uh, shake tree blueprint class. Let's move uh, to entire shot. If you press play, we have nothing because uh, all parameters is set to zero. Let's add some amplitude and frequency to, uh, for example, rotation. Um, amplitude, uh, how much parameter is increasing or decreasing and frequency uh, for often. For example, one is the maximum. Uh, we can choose five, for example. It's very uh, big rotation. And frequency, for example, point uh, one and very slow uh, parameter increasing. For example, point 0.3 will be enough, I think, and uh, amplitude set to. We have a little bit uh, rotation uh, randomization and uh, we can create, uh, for example, uh, for rotation, uh, for location, uh, let's press 5 and point 0.3 maybe 10 and we add uh, a little bit movement uh, to our camera a little bit random movement to linear camera movement uh, don't worry about uh, fluid fire let's disable it because it's, it's better uh, okay uh, next parameter is um, field of view it's a simple zoom can add for example two and small frequency. Also, we have uh, separate uh, parameters uh, for location. It's uh, separate axis, X, Y, and Z. For rotation, it's separate uh, axis, pitch, yaw, and roll. If you need, we, um, we can add separate movement uh, to separate axis. Press compile, and uh, we have little randomization uh, in camera movement. Uh, but in uh, real life, uh, if we hold camera, if we create a real shot, uh, we have uh, very difficult uh, movement uh, from our legs, body, hands, uh, and uh, we need uh, to create different shakes for different body elements. For example, for uh, legs, uh, we can create one shake for body, another shake for hands, another shake. Let's duplicate uh, our new blueprint class and let's create another randomization for rotation. I think this parameter will be enough. Five, zero, seven. And let's add new shake to camera actor. Press track and in camera shake uh, parameter, let's choose shake four. Now we have two uh, individual shakes and let's play new movement. I think uh, we need to disable uh, field of view randomization in second shake. 
Let's press zero and press compile. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.